Badagri is a coastal town and a local government in Lagos State, Nigeria. It is situated on the north bank of the Port Novo Creek, an inland waterway that connects Lagos City to Port Novo, the capital of Benin Republic. As at the 2006 National Population Census, the population of Badagri stood at over 200,000 people. Being a coastal town, the major occupation of the people of Badagri is fishing. There's also a lot of coconuts in Badagri, a video of which I've brought you already. So today, um, I'm out exploring Badagri and... One of the things I love to do when I travel or I explore new places to me is to take note of some unique things that really are fascinating to me. So in this video, I'm going to share you some unique, fascinating things I've seen in Badagri. While I'm here exploring Badagri, Badagri is a part of Lagos State, okay? So it's somewhere in Lagos, Nigeria. It's actually a local government in Lagos State, yeah. So it's a slightly sort of rural and urban sort of settings combined. You guys, you guys you get that, right? So yeah, I'll show you that. Welcome. Give the video a thumb up, okay? And subscribe if you've not subscribed. And why not share the video? Let's have a look. So I can see across the road there, right? They are selling chicken inside those handcrafted baskets. So let's cross and go and have a closer look. Inside this cage is is actually a dog. It's not a chicken. It's a dog, and it is feeding. That's the feed there, and you have more here. These ones are chicken. They are chicken. You see, inside the cage. There's another one. There's another one here, so this is how they sell. And someone is here to buy, so he's up to attend to them. That's a little boy attending to a customer. Interesting. I've seen bird cages mostly made out of iron, made out of um, other materials. But seeing this one is quite fascinating and unique. Talk about making the most of your, you know, environments, eco-friendly materials to promote your business and your trade so it's really fascinating here and i just love that rural countryside vibe that it gives to this area and especially to this business i mean i'm tired of seeing all the urban things and everything so when i see these things i just feel at home i i love it so i thought to share it with you as a town badagri is packed full with history colonial history, religious history, slave trade history, and so many more. Because the colonial masters, the slave traders, when they came, um, they settled in Badagri. So when you go around, you see a lot of colonial um, architecture in some of the buildings scattered around Badagri. So this building caught my attention because, you know, Badagri is the area where the colonial people settled when they first landed in Nigeria. So when you come to Badagri, you see some of these sort of old colonial architectural buildings scattered in some different places across Badagri. This is another unique thing about Badagri. I'm just enjoying taking everything in. Like I said, the air in Badagri is different. Like it's fresh, a lot of greenery. It's less congested, like compared to Lagos. So I'm enjoying it as I walk around and explore to show you some of the uniqueness about Badagri. Bishop Ajayi Crowder. And behind me there, you see Bishop Ajayi Crowder. What? Bishop Ajayi Crowder Bible Show. Bishop Ajayi Crowder is the first missionary. He converted the English Bible. He translated the English Bible into Yoruba language. So that's a building there. The Bible is there. Wow, you see? Yeah, so let's keep going. You take in all the history, the first and everything. But I agree. What a beautiful place to be. So I grew up drinking water from the well very very common in Benue state and i guess some other parts of nigeria but our wells were quite different from the wells i'm seeing in badagri and that brings me to the next unique thing about badagri the the wells in badagri are quite unique you see growing up in Benue, our wells were dug deep and you know sort of built and then covers were constructed and covered over the wells but that's not the case with the wells in Badagri the wells are quite deep and then the structure over them quite built quite high and left open and I'm like this is risky anyway because children might play and run astray and fall into it 
I mean, even the ones we had in Benue that were covered, there were accidents like that where children fell into the wells and some were quite fatal. So another fascinating and unique thing about Vadagri, the wells are different and it dates back. Even I saw a well at the Seriki Abbas slave barracoon that I shared with you in the previous video. One of those wells is there. This well was dug in 1847. And ever since then, the well never run dry. Either rainy season or dry season, the well never run dry. And the well is not too deep. One thing that has always fascinated me again, traveling across Africa, is the cultural intersections that I get to see. When I went to Cameroon, I saw, you know, cultural intersections in terms of clothing. So the Northwest people of Cameroon share the same cultural attire with people from Adamawa state from Taraba state. Then, you know, when I went to northern Ghana, I saw similarities between the people of northern Ghana and northern Nigeria. Now, being in Badagri, I'm seeing clothes being hooked in trays. You know, so these women carry clothes, hang them on hangers, thrifted clothes, uh, actually. They put them on hangers, hang them on trays, and carry them on their heads, and they are hawking. These are thrifted clothes. And this is very fascinating because this is a cultural influence from Benin Republic. I've been to Benin like twice, okay? Yeah, so I can say for a fact that this is a practice in Benin Republic. When you go to Kotonou, where I've been, you see that they, they hawk thrifted clothes on their heads like this. So being in Badagri, I'm seeing them hawking thrifted clothes on their head and I'm like, when does this stop? Like, we are just so similar. This is a cultural influence from Benin Republic, but it's quite unique because you only see this in Badagri in Lagos, Nigeria. You don't see it anywhere else in Nigeria where they hawk thrifted clothes on the head. So this is quite unique. And did I mention in the intro that Badagri also shares boundary with Benin Republic, you know, the Port Novo and part of Kotonou. So yeah, that's why you see the cultural intersection very close um, to Benin Republic. Another interesting cultural influence I saw from Benin Republic in Badagri is in the street food. So I'm just passing by and I see this um, lady selling baguettes by the Badagri roundabout. And you know that Benin Republic was colonized by the French. So the baguette is a colonial, if you like, influence from the French people on the people of Benin Republic. So cool. Okay. So cool. Okay. Okay. So okay, they serve it with sauce. You see? That's the sauce. When you bite, they prepare it like that. So now it has moved over and now is in Badagri. So you can see this baguette here. It, the word is actually a French word, so bread, being sold here in Badagri. And the people of Badagri actually also relish it. And they are selling it just the same way they do sell it in Kotono, where I've been in Benin Republic. So I saw that really fascinating because um, the people of um, Benin Republic actually also come to Badagri in you know lagos state nigeria they live here you know and vice versa if you're enjoying this video give the video a thumb up okay and subscribe if you've not subscribed drop a comment what has been the most fascinating thing from this video to you drop a comment i like to know okay let's continue but agree is a coastal town and being a coastal town their major occupation is fishing so when you come to badagri you go to the marina side where we are now you see that fishing activities happen here the fish they clean the fish here they process it like by smoking it as you can see them smoking the fish here and then they go on to sell it so when you come to this marina area you are sure to buy good badagri fish caught from the badagri lagoon like i said is the major export from badagri the second b coconut so when you come to badagri make sure you make your way to marina okay yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching hope you've enjoyed seeing these fascinating things about badagri and enjoying them with me in the same way i enjoyed and have shared with you if you have give the video a thumb up subscribe if you've not subscribed okay and yeah drop a comment i'd like to know don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video 
share the video right share share go on and share before we go yeah thank you for sharing i'll see you in the next video until then stay safe healthy below abiding i'm virgin grace your african storyteller bye Mwah.